today's video, we are covering my favorite John Mayer tone, Where the Light Is. This tone is the holy grail of Mayer tones for, I think, a lot of people. Um, they filmed the entire video. It's up on YouTube. You might have to buy it for the full quality thing, but you can get songs here and there. A lot of pages. This is during the Continuum era. Uh, it was filmed at Nokia Theater, December 8th, 2007. So it was after the trio era, um, but you still have him playing with the trio during the first half of the show, and then they take an intermission, he plays some acoustic, and then he plays with the, his full band, like his touring band, which is like David Ryan Harris and the rest of them. So I think it's a great, probably unarguably, the best Mayer era for tone, for songs, it, overall just amazing. I'm going to be going over how I get my tone. I've been chasing this tone forever, along with other tones. You know, you take your breaks, but this is, to me, the tone that I aim for mostly. So I'll tell you how I get my tone. I'll give you some clips of my tones. And then if you stick around, we'll break it down. We'll go things that I think you definitely need, like a strat. That, that's a necessity for this tone. So I'll give you what Mayer uses what I use, and I probably, most of my stuff's middle of the road to lower tier. And then I'll give you a real, the real, the most budget option you can get. And don't get me wrong, budget does not mean low quality. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But I love everything that I have here. I think just because it's the cheaper version doesn't mean it's bad by any means. Stick around for tone samples and a breakdown, but for now, please like, comment, and subscribe while we're at it. Let's get into some tones. That's what we're here for. very very close for the gear that I have I mean I don't have a, a blues breaker Mach 1 and a Dumble but I want to break this down for you 
in down by necessity. So I'm, I want to give you the things I think you need all the way down. And then I'll give you budget alternatives because not everyone can afford, not everyone can afford mayor things. Not everyone can afford the things that I can afford, which is nowhere near mayor things. So you got tiers. So for the guitars, also most of this information is John Mayer gear page look upable. He did a bunch of posts, especially on where the light is, but he's such a wealth of information. So John likes to play songs with guitars they were written on, but for the most part, they're vintage type strats. Um, he likes Black Wan for this a lot. So you get a lot of Black Wans. I think only, I think only one song he used humbuckers on this, uh, in this concert or on this show where the light is. And I can't, I could play it. I can't think of the name of it though. <laughs> It's all Strat stuff. Even, even, um, Out of My Mind was on a Strat, which usually is not. Usually it's on a ZS335. So at, at the lowest budget any Strat will do, a Squire, you can pull off, you can get very close. Then you go up from there, I would say the vintage classic vibe era of Squire. 60s preferably, because it has the rosewood. That's your next step up. That actually might be better than a regular, a modern day Fender, just for the tone, because it's vintagey. So I would say that and a modern day Fender are probably on par, if not the classic vibe, a little bit better. And then I would go an American vintage style AVRI or the vintage reissues like this, then custom shop an actual strap. So the next necessity is the amp. I think your guitar and your amp together are the the mainstays that like you need a good amp. So John used a two rock Sterling signature, which is a Dumble clone, the Dumble 004 clone. He used a Dumble overdrive special and he also used his two rock John Mayer signature. Um, he used all these three together. So whether one's on, one's not, but it's a combination of tone. So I use a Fender Blues Deluxe to approximate these three amps, which you can't really do with one amp, but you just get the best tone you can. Really any Fender voiced or Dumble voiced amp. I wouldn't, I don't classify many, I classify Dumble as a fender voiced amp. So anything with that mid scooped, some chimey highs can get you that tone, I think. You could go Blues Junior, you could go Deluxe or Princeton Reverb, Hot Rod Deluxe, Blues Deluxe. And then you get to spend more money, you get into the Two Rocks, um, to traditional cleans. Um, you can get a John Mayer Signet. I mean, you can really push the money. But I would say for the best bang for your buck, obviously I think is the Blues Junior. Hot Rod Deluxe, very, very similar amp, so the same thing. After that, I would just save your money. You know, like to me, this amp is so versatile that you wouldn't, I don't think you'd need, like it's not worth it to upgrade to a Princeton or a Deluxe. I think you just save your money until you can get a two rock. If I, I mean, this amp's so good, I might not even care about that and just go on a pedal search and buy more guitars and whatnot. So I'd say any Fender voiced amp will get you those kind of tones. So now a little note back to guitars. The tone knob, very important, Mayer. Note. I think he backs off his volume a little bit. So I chill like eight and a half, nine. But tone. The more I try to play Mayer, the more I'm noticing, the lower the tone, the more accurate you are. And it's not necessarily the lower treble. There's, there's a there's a specific thing in the tone that goes away when you lower your tone. So I'm right now at like a little bit below six. And then my middle pick up a little bit below seven, just because when they put them together, that's what I think sounds best. But you could even go a little bit lower and boost your amp's treble. So Mayer, def, a little Mayer trick there, definitely lower your tone knobs. Nowhere near 10. So my tone straight into this amp. I'll give you the amp settings right now. Sounds like this. Guitar on 10 volume, and then the tones, like I said. And now 
what I do to accentuate, I kind of change my amp a little bit. I can get close, but I want a little bit more. So while this is a pedal, I treat it like part of the amp. Now, I'm gonna click on a clean boost, very, very, very clean, and hit the front of the amp a little harder. I'm gonna turn back my guitar volume to about nine, a little less. And then we get a little bit of a different tone. And that's not 100%, but it's very close. Just clean amp. And rarely is Mayer playing straight into a clean amp, so there's that. I leave that pedal on all the time though, now especially, but I have for a while. And I can throw on a Lenny pedal as well and get a little bit of a more dumbly tone. I mean, I love that pedal, it sounds great, but I'm just, for exactly this concert, exactly this tone, I don't know. So that's Hot Rod De um, Blues Deluxe and Strat. Yeah, vintage Strat, you get that. I'm pushing the front of it with a micro amp, but not even necessary. If I turned up my volume on the amp, you get a little bit of a different tone and it'll sound a little bit better as well. Turned it up a little bit. So here's my clean with the push. engaged that's everything the way I would have it set for mayor so to me that's my strat amp combo even though I'm pushing it I treat that like part of the amp so now into pedals I'm gonna tell you the core mayor tone pedals there's like you could get a wah you could do these things for specific songs but I'm just going over the core tones that you hear across a lot of songs so the Kiwi Katana Clean Boost is what John Mayer uses. I'm using an MX on my ramp. He just uses that as a boost. And you can get any clean boost. Uh, a Spark, MX on my ramp. The uh, Katana Mini, the Katana Volume 1, Katana Volume... Any kind of clean boost will do the trick here. And now I'm using it to push the amp 100%. So I have it at the end of my chain. But Mayer uses it to push the amp, but also to push his pedals. So I'm treating it as part of my amp, not really the way Mayer's using it. So I don't use a clean boost, essentially, the way I think of it. If I were to use a clean boost the way Mayer would, I'd put it right before all my pedals. That way you turn on a gain pedal, you hit the clean boost, you get extra gain, extra loudness, hit the amp. But any clean boost will do the trick here. And again, he uses it a lot especially for solos. Um, it's almost an always on sometimes, uses it as levelers. So I consider it a necessity just because it's always used and it's practical, but you could get away without it. Now let's go into the drives. We have the first drive you're gonna hit is a Blues Breaker Mach 1. Um, that's a classic Marshall pedal, a light overdrive. He doesn't have it too gainy. And now you, there are plenty of Blues Breaker clones Typically, you'll see them in dual pedals. Like one side will be Blues Breaker, the other one will be Klon, TS, um, Bad Horsey, you can find it in, Gravity, uh, Continuum Pedal, The Duelist, Analog Man, King of Tone. Uh, you'll see it in so many pedals. And then there's clones specifically. Like I have right now a, a Moore Blues Crab, which I bought pretty much for this tone. Now, I was going to sell it after making a video because I was like, yeah, it's not going to be that good. It's very, I think it's an exact circuit. It's so good. I'll sell something else. I'm keeping that. It's so good for so cheap. You can check Reverb, but oh, definitely under $100 for that pedal. I think it's like 60 bucks. New. Used, I think you can get it for like 48 or something. So definitely a great pedal for this tone. Would highly recommend Blues Crab. That's the most budget you're going to get. But any Blues Breaker clone. This is how I have mine set. I, you use it for 
almost everything, slow dancing, um, belief, gravity. I used it for almost all of those, I did. And this is what it sounds like with the MXR. And also for all these, I have a delay, which is coming up, but I have my delay on. so good and so cheap. I don't get it. And again, not too much gain. Granted, in this pedal, it looks like a lot of gain, but sonically, it's not that much. And when you play softly, you can almost get away with it not sounding like any gain. But then you dig in. The next pedal that we have is a Tube Screamer. John, during this time, I don't even have it written down. Um, he could have been used, for Mayor Trio, he used TS-808. For this, he might have made the switch to TS-10, I'm not sure. I know points, he's had a lot of them. Doesn't like the TS-9 that much. I'm using a TS-9, which is the one that he doesn't use, but it's the cheapest. And for this, Literally, there are so many good Tube Screamer clones out there. Literally, so many. Um, you can get the Ibanez, which is the company that makes all these. They have a TS Mini, which is very good. Tone City might have a Tube Screamer. A Green Machine, I think. There, are, There's a plethora of options for this. And anything will do. And it'll get you this tone. You're looking at... can be combined. So when you, com you combine your blues breaker and your TS, you get this type of tone. Neck pickup, you get the intro to uh, belief. And used it for a lot of solos, but. solo tone, I think. And now, always a staple on John Mayer's board is an Aquaplus. He uses it for like a slap back type delay in any analog, not digital, which kind of darkens it a little bit. Digital delays tend to give you a very bright, shiny delay, whereas analog, not so much. Um, I'm using an Ibanez Mini delay. Uh, OD D something nine, I don't even know. But I'll, I'll show you. And this is how I have it set. You can, I'll let you hear it. It's been on for all these. And you can barely hear it when I'm playing. Or you can barely make out what it is. And you, unless you're doing funk stuff, you can't really hear that it's a delay. I mean, people listening for it will know that it's a delay. But it just it fattens up the tone a little bit. It kind of adds to the reverb of the amp, which I have reverb on. It's just a nice touch. But Mayer always uses this. Any analog delay will really do the trick here. You can go as budge as possible like I did. You can go Aquapus, um, anything really. It's kind of personal preference, I'd say. 
And then also he has a long-term delay, which I'm not using. I don't have his by long-term. I mean, it's more than a slap back. It's usually, um, you turn the time up delay time and he likes tap tempo for this longer delay so he can set it in the songs. And it's usually like kind of faded in the mix. Um, but again, not used on every song. All the other pedals that he'd use, he uses a Crybaby Wah, not on every song. He uses a micro synth, not on every song. These are usually like accent pieces on solos and stuff. Um, I have a Vox Wah, I've got a Univibe, which he uses an actual Univibe. But these things, uh, they're kind of complimentary. You want them for specific things, yes, but that's not the tone. I consider what I have on the board right now the tone, minus the Lenny, which I showed you earlier. I have that down, but I don't. I wouldn't really use it. And so that's that is the John Mayer Continuum Tone. I think I'm super close to it, not touching, but super close. Oh, and if he plays "Bold as Love," I'll give you a taste of that. And wait until tomorrow. All right, give you two little tastes. chase is done. Drop in the comments what you think about it. I think it's definitely affordable. You don't even need the delay. Let's. I'm going to give you a base, a base thing right now. You don't need the delay. You don't need the boost. All you need is a Blues Breaker clone, a TS clone, and a Fender voiced amp, and a Squire Classic vibe. That's my recipe for a budget. That'll run you 600 probably for a classic vibe. Um, a Blues Breaker clone, you can get 60. TS clone, you can get, a used, you can get 50 50, so that's 100. So you're talking 700. A used blue, a used, all right, let me go full budget here. You get a used um, classic vibe, Squire, 500 bucks, 400 bucks, 450, we'll say. A used Blues Breaker, used TS, talking 50 bucks a piece. Not the real ones, obviously, budget. Like a Blues Crab and a, a Tone City or something. So now you're at 550. You get a used Blues Junior for, I don't even, I have no idea what that would be. 350? Would it be 350? Are we talking like $900? Which, okay. Is $900 a lot of money? Yes, that's a ton of money for some people. Some people it's nothing. But $900, you can nail this tone, I think. And most people spend more, spend more than $900. People spend more than $900 on a single pedal sometimes, if it's a really expensive one, but people spend more than $900 on their amp, guitar. If you could put together a full tone for that, that's not bad. And here you have middle of the road and you could go all the way to high end. If, if you thought this video was helpful and you want more videos like it, I've got a couple more Mayor Trio era stuff coming out, so that'll be fun. Got some BD2, which technically could be on this board, might not be, who knows. But we're going to shoot some stuff out. I'm looking forward to it. Once I completely get over this cold, I'm going to start cranking stuff out. But again, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you very much. With that, I'm out.